This is really the first opportunity to really expand in the fuel cell production here in North America. While the footprint of this fuel cell project is small, the transformative potential of the technology is huge. Building a fuel cell drivetrain kit has never been done in one of our plants outside of Japan. So this is a unique opportunity to develop the skills that will lay the groundwork for our transition into a mobility company. For them to choose TMMK and our, our wonderful team members that we have in Powertrain is just, it's wonderful. And we're just so excited to be on the front edge of this technology. Fuel cell technology, we believe, has the best application in heavy duty trucks. Thinking of these uh, big trucks rolling down the interstate, giving out no pollution, not, none of the bad stuff, that's pretty cool. We hear a lot about hybrids and battery electric vehicles, but we do believe that there's a real need for fuel cell in that overall scope. This is one of the trial builds that we do as part of the uh, early project development. This is when we get a first hands-on approach to building each of these units. We can identify where there's opportunities for improvement. Uh, we can start to develop our standardized work for what it's going to take in order to build these in the future. It fits within the framework of where a typical in internal combustion engine would fit, but it's now going to be this uh, hydrogen fuel cell assembly. We're also using more carbon-free equipment in our operations. For example, we're using battery electric trucks at our parts distribution center in California and hydrogen fuel cell heavy-duty trucks at the port in Long Beach. In addition, at the end of the year, we plan on using hydrogen fuel cell energy to power our facilities at the port in Long Beach. As the company with more electrified vehicles on the road than all others combined, Toyota is making significant investments in on- and off-site renewable energy sources to generate wind and solar energy to power our manufacturing plants and help contribute to the decarbonization of local energy grids. Hydrogen is scalable. That's clearly what we've seen, whether it's forklifts at ports or uh, large over-the-road vehicles or first and last mile delivery. The hydrogen fuel cell, the whole concept is, is pretty wild. When I was a kid, people talked about this, you know, one day way, way, way out there, that this is what we would live in, this type of an environment where you have this clean source of energy. And, you know, a lot of people doubted it. And over the years, you know, there's been all kinds of debate. And now to look back and to see we're there, my kids are going to live in a cleaner environment.